On today's episode of Anime Afterthought, My Hero Academia, episode 112, Tomura Shigaraki Origin. Well, fuck me, at least I know where the budget went this season. My god, this episode was gorgeous. I honestly believe they blew their entire animation load just on this episode. I didn't see an off frame anywhere. Everything was gorgeous. Even the stills, the action, the anime, it just... Ugh. This was a great looking episode. And if you're gonna go all out, this was the episode to do it. Not only does it give us some more amazing backstory when it comes to the evolution from Tanko to Tamora, including the origins of his actual name, you know, Tamora equals to Morn, and Shigaraki is actually the last name belonging to All For One, we get to see the climax of his character in this arc. And I absolutely love the way they utilize the hands, representing the burden of his past, still suppressing Shigaraki. Even All For One is quoted as saying that it's going to be a constant reminder of his past, you know, locking his memories away, this constant itch he can't scratch until he gets to a certain point where he's finally able to discard all of those feelings to become the true embodiment of destruction. And although for one who is siding with the heroes, it kind of sucks that this dude got a major fucking power upgrade, or if my thinking is correctly, it just unlocked his potential that was originally there when he killed his family that was being suppressed by said hands because yeah if this dude wasn't terrifying enough this dude now wields a power to destroy an entire fucking city and seemingly has no connections to the world he wants to fucking destroy that is a utter fucking nightmare it's a hard pill to swallow but honestly i am impressed and i'm not the only one not only has he been deemed worthy in the eyes of gigantomachia to be the successor for all for one not only has he been granted the title of the supreme commander of the new paranormal liberation army but he has finally co-opted the good doctor to increase his power even further much like all for one I think we're looking at the possibility of a multi quirk nightmare and when your base is as devastating as decay the sky's the fucking limit on how much utter chaos you can wreak but of course we couldn't have the story of the world's greatest hero if it didn't include the world's greatest villain and I gotta say Tom Tomura Shigaraki is shaping up to be one hell of an antagonist. But I am left with one question. Whose hand is that? Not gonna lie, this is probably my favorite episode of the season so far. This was just fucking amazing. No offense to next week's finale, but honestly, this is what we should have ended on. Going out with a terrifying bang. I mean, we got hell of a lot more than just action. I love how we're giving it another glimpse into how All For One influenced a young Tenko Shimura and eventually evolved into Tomura Shigaraki. I love how we got to physically witness the mental evolution of Reed Destro, right? His father, Destro, who fought for liberation over suppression, it's so fucking ironic. Someone like Tomura Shigaraki, who he's in current battle with, literally epitomized someone who is truly free. There's no burden of history or blood. And I love the evolution from this truly pompous, egotistical character to an absolute fucking pushover. Last but not least, I'm actually very happy that Toga made it out alive. Definitely bringing that va va voom with her new outfit. Gotta say, twice you did an amazing job. Even though you may have had a relapse, pretty sure the dual persona is staying. So yeah, this episode truly was the climax of this season, not only in terms of art and animation, but just in terms of how it's going to impact the overall story. This evolution we get to see in Tomura Shigaraki. And I got a feeling shit's only gonna get crazier from here. Of of course, let us not forget the impending doom we know that's right around the corner. The inevitable all-out war that's going to take place in four months. I'm so fucking excited. Let's just hope Shueisha and Bones decides not to drop another movie so they can literally focus on, you know, the main fucking story. Anyways, like I said, this episode was fucking perfect. I love every single fucking frame of it. Anything after this is just a cherry on top. So with all that being said and more My Hero Academia next week, I honestly cannot wait for future episodes.